And we got reconnaissance companies, you know, just to help out a little. So we've got old ways of the new world. War support goes up. Research for land doctrine, war support, political power, weapons factories, weapons factories, experience, land graph upgrade. So I think we're going to go with the armory. Oh, we could send a bunch of uh, volunteers with patrolmen. Yeah, let's expand the armory. The life of every citizen is precious. If we want to make sure that they come home safely, we must make sure they are well armed. Try playing attacker so we can start building some cas. Uh, Averton wants me to drink some tea. I'm afraid I'm on the water at the moment. Maybe in about 10 minutes or so I'll make another tea. Totally legit vote. Our electoral overwatch reports no suspicious activity as they sit back and count their money. The siege of Hidden Valley after days of siege relentless fighting. Hidden Valley has fallen. Mojave territories were able to take Hidden Valley through though pockets of resistance still exist. The Mojave chapter shall be remembered in history books for its defense of Hidden Valley. Though fruitless in the end, they stood against giants. Fighting to the last man, it's unsure if this victory was truly a victory for the Mojave territories. Was it worth the price that was paid in blood for this land? Is this going to be a longer stream than two hours? Uh, Kalinas, I've already been going for... five. <laughs> but no, the plan is to go for another hour. Until 10pm Central European. Right, I can start building fighters and I definitely want to start doing that. I might really need more factories. Old World Blues. That's a fail. However, what I can do now is start scavenging with power armor. Which we're going to do. Meanwhile, how's the rest of the world looking? The cause is still beating up your common nation. Doesn't look like they'll be able to come back from that. So the cause really will be very strong. Ouroboros took two states. Dry blowers have been annexed. Hang dogs are taking out Warden pretty quickly. Shell's army's still fighting carbon. That's been a long fight. Meanwhile, there was something at 100 political power I thought I needed to use, needed to buy, what was it? Oh right, we can get um, Festus. Yeah, we may as well. Grab them. What was at 100? There wasn't any of that. Oh, I know what it was. I can now get funding the army. All I need is the uh, political power for it. Yeah, I should probably have waited on Festus. Oh well. More refugees means more manpower. Sir. And how are we doing for equipment? So, support bots will be kind of low. We could definitely get some more regular guards, and also the NCR guards. Yeah, I should have gone by now. So let's go ahead and start recruiting some more city guard. And also a robo security. Can start drilling at the very least. Once we do that, we can start. Um, some more support. That's gonna be a ways from this. 
Texan Brotherhood declared we're on the Gate of Moors. Okay. Chop shop. Request lowered tariffs. Trade tariffs reduced by 15% for 300 days, but we get a bunch of opinion with them. Yes, you know what? I'll accept. And speaking of opinion, we should probably go and do some purchasing. I feel like I could do some more support equipment, so let's go ahead and drop some money into this. And some money into this. It's what the caps are for. Might as well spend them. And expanding the armory will give me some more production slots, which is good, because we're really starting to spread our production kind of thin. To the extent where I think we may actually want to use... caps to purchase things like support equipment and uh, demolition equipment and that type of stuff. No, no combat. Hello, sir. There's the recon plane, which I really want to start producing. Damn. And fighters. Do smoke signals. Okay, armory expanded, so now I do have some more factories. So I can make M saws, but honestly, that I'm going to import. Recon planes and fighter planes. We're going to need to produce ourselves. And then we can open up the vault workshops, which will get me another two, which I think will be very good. Although the vault has been used for little more than storage for decades, many of its mothballs and machines could be turned into weapons of war. Shouldn't we manufacture firearms in our most secure location? Yes, I don't see why not. Eastern Umbra declared war on Umbra. Umbra? Um, bra. I recognize that name. For some reason. There it is. Heaven's Gate High Chapel War is still ongoing. That's a fight that's been going on for quite a long time. Should you just go to war? No. Not unless I have a focus that makes me do it. I don't think I even can. Yeah, I can justify, but it takes like years because I have a massive penalty to it. It'll take a year to do. This is the downside of playing a relatively peaceful nation. Like, Vault City is always going to be kind of inward-looking. Especially as we didn't go the New Direction path. I'm actually a little afraid we may actually finish this focus tree in the next, like, two or three years. Maybe not. I was going to say I feel like there's more on this side, but actually looking how packed this is, this is just more spread out. Oh, no, that's not true. It still has all of this. And this is all the expansionist stuff, I think, which we are locked out on. Because we went peaceful, pro-NCR, then voted to kick the NCR out. Like, I don't really know what was expected. Part of the plan. Uh huh. Might well be that we have nothing until like the 80s arrive or something like that. If they even beat New Canaan. How's another fun series actually? New Canaan.
I set up two fighter wings, that was a mistake. 49 days. Uh, go ahead. I not work on biplanes until then. Dynamite! Uh, next up, I guess, logistic support. Okay, now that I'm starting to get some bigger units, no, power armor is literally just power armor support. Alright. And power armor divisions can have, yeah, power armor, fire team, and demolitions like that. So it needs to be an inline unit. Which I guess we could do with like robots and then inline support units. That could work. Arroyo took one state. He's to number as annex. <laughs> Umbra didn't even get it. Oh, that... <laughs> Yoink! And, mm, the cores. Getting quite big. Oh, and Silix Nation is up against Camlo. Any faction I can become part of to get dragged into their wars? I mean, there was the NCR. <laughs> Otherwise, no. I think we are basically completely independent now. Vault City can be upgraded. I just spent another 20 political power. I need to upgrade my economy! But also I just upgraded my economy because now I'm going to earn more money. Money, money, money. Money! Resistor. Right, that's technology. Economic growth in Vault City. Excellent. Lanius took out the executives. Can I get this yet? Eh, it's still too far ahead of time. 77 is going to be a good year. So, the support units that the robots miss out on, what were they again? It's just fire teams and demolitions, right? Yeah. So, I could use support mongrels, logistics, possibly even chems. Okay, workshops are open, so that gives me some more production. I can now make dynamite, but I can also buy dynamite, so that's not hugely useful. Oh, infantry armor. That would have been for special forces. Expanded patrols allows me to send volunteers. That's what we were going for. With a lot more men under the banner of the guard, we can split up the responsibilities more. Until now, a guardsman was supposed to do everything. Patrol the outskirts of the city, protect the gates, prevent crime, respond to domestic issues, fight fires, fight wars. Now we have options. And we want to... What are we short on? Robots, right? Yeah. Get me more ribbits. Especially when it's time to get the command and control ribbits. Exploration for technology. The heads of the Gunrunners have asked us to sponsor a scavenging party into a ruined research facility nearby. They think there is a large trove of old world equipment that could allow them to develop new processes and maintain an edge on the market. In return for sponsorship, they will share the knowledge gained with us, though there is a chance their party is deterred, or worse, by faulty defences, or worse, by facility defences. Our current equipment should be up to the challenge. Yeah, let's do it. 57% success chance. Hang dogs declared one Ribbit City. Meanwhile, the Guardians and the Desert Rangers, oh, sorry, the Rogue Rangers, are still fighting.
72 political power. Oh, hang on, I can reduce that cost, can't I? First citizen Lynette, but some of the scavengers went missing. We can't raise them and only match to their last known location. So we can, I think, set up a yep, rescue team. Send them out. Political bribes. 180 days. We have cheaper economy law cost. So this now costs 78. Now we're close. Glad I remember to do that. We found them! Thank goodness. And there it is. Fund the army. Boom. So now we should get lots more civilian fact we get one more civilian factory working on our construction. And we can start thinking about actually militarizing somewhat now. And I think that is what I'm gonna do. Civilian workshops, let's get a couple of those. Actually, looks like Gecko is going to be the first one upgraded, so let's get, say, five civilian workshops there. Is it worth trying out this mod if I'm not a great at Hearts of Iron? Big fan of Fallout, and I only completed a few Hearts of Iron games. Yeah, try it. Like Sindrin says, it's free. It's a mod. Very much worth it. And like, if you've got a couple of games of Hearts of Iron under your belt, which I would definitely recommend, uh, so you know how the base mechanics work, then... You'll be able to get into this pretty easily. Like, the core mechanics don't change that much. There's some new stuff you need to worry about, like how caps work. That's really the only big difference. Manpower is quite different just because the numbers are much smaller. Like, having a thousand manpower is it's all right. Try playing attacker. Right. Troll Warren declared one of Marrow Drinkers. So what I would like to do is actually start building some Try Plane Attackers. Soon. TN. Let's get some motorization up and running. Any good starting factions? I uh, would suggest probably Heaven's Gate, these guys, or yeah, I would say Heaven's Gate are the the big beginner nation because you'll get into some action fairly early. Their economy is good. Their tech and research and abilities are good. Heaven's Gate would be my suggestion. Right, I wanted to build triplane attackers. And we can drop one of the rivets to do that. I love how I've got all of these different equipment types, just precisely one factory on each. Our economy is amazing. But now that we've got all of the infrastructure up and running, we should be able to industrialize really fast. Free folk took two states, good stuff. Ah, I can send out scavenging vehicles, please do. While we wait for the power armor to become available again. Meanwhile, we can purchase some items from some of these guys. Are there any resources I'm very short on? Demolitions we bought, support equipment I could probably do with some more. Which was gun runners? Yes. There we go. <clears throat> and now that I know that I have a source of those resources, I think I can stop producing them myself. Power armor I'm going to continue doing. And I think rivets I'm going to continue doing. In fact, 10 millimeter pistols, eh, I can buy those.
Ejacita Mexicano took four states, Petro Chico have been annexed. After days of heavy fighting, reports are beginning to come in from the front line stating that Los Ejacito Mexicano has broken the stalwart defense of Petro Chico's capital. The refinery, despite having defensive line manned by thousands of men, Los Ejacito Mexicano special operations units were able to penetrate the highly guarded section of the refinery's defense. The guard detail in the area was quickly and quietly eliminated under the cover of night, and the gaping hole was blasted into a barrier that separated the refinery's interior from the fighting outside, providing Los Ejacito Mexicano with an opening to funnel forces into the objective. Faced with defending their capital from both the inside and the out, and losing more men than he could sustain, El CEO, who had been fighting the enemy alongside his guard, the managers, secured the refinery's inner garrison to surrender their arms. Now scattered to the wind, Petro Chico's people fled east to the Chichen Itza and south to Nueva Aztlan. It seems that for once, this once proud people, the fourth quarter has finally come. Los Ejacito Mexicano forces now occupy the derelict but precious refinery, a relic of the old world. Okay, it's time to get patrolmen. The patrols tend to be one of the more dangerous jobs a guard has to do. It's hard for some of our citizens to even consider leaving the city's walls, but with some more hardy outworlder under our command, we can take the patrolmen a permanent fixture. We actually would have the forces required to protect smaller factions and independent settlements that are a friendly relationship with us. Now I can start sending volunteers once that's finished. Hey man, hope you're having a great time in the game. What do you recommend it? I want to play Old World Blues mainly, but I don't know if the game is too hard. Yes, I would recommend it. I would recommend, if you're not familiar with Hearts of Iron, to play a game or two of Hearts of Iron Vanilla just to understand the mechanics, and then jump in as Heaven's Gate. That's the beginner faction, I would say. And then you can learn the game. Cool, city guard are ready. Let's go ahead and deploy some. So start researching something else. That's still ahead of time. Healing powder. Ah, now I also have some army experience, so I can finally add some other units. Eighteen organization seems very low. Particularly when you have sixty. I mean these guard units are just better. units can train up with their new equipment which will take them quite a long time which will hopefully also generate us a bunch more army experience and now hopefully the jackals don't attack because we're not in a particularly strong position also that did cost me a lot of manpower cool 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 oh yeah i know that robots are supposed to be used with command and control units but we have really cheap support stuff so I'm trying to mix it up with lots of different things. So we can go quantity, which is army, defense, and division attrition. It is robot cell usage and factory output, and robot cell usage, army defense and factory output. Or we can have quality, which is army supply use and cell usage, robot breakthrough and soft attack, and then army hardness and armor. I think... But this is actually a remarkably hard question. 
So if we go quantity, that's going to make up for the fact that I'm probably not going to be getting the robot cost reductions. So instead of having the cost reductions, we have the output. Huzzah. But... Having the increased hardness and armor. Well, it's going to be for the army. We're not going to have that many robots if we do this. There'll be a little bit of power armor, but honestly not a huge amount. This has really got to be quantity. Because we're spreading our production so thin. Quantity it is. Now, when can I get my... Well, we're talking about that scrap bot. End of this year, 2077. It's going to be a big year. Lots of things become available. Ah, so we can get Arroyo into the faction. Combat robot production cost, support robot production cost. Robotic assembly lines. Okay, we're doing the right thing. Puppet focus against Badland something. Buckaroos. Paradise Valley gains resources. Cutest mutants. Slant together. <laughs> oh god, another vault dweller. Burrows gain production. If the adorable little raccoon people are a faction with you, this focus will give the following additional. Unfortunately, we can't get shed interests because we won't be a member of the NCR. Upgrade our people. Implant access. We can get cybernetics. Jackals. Nevada Postal Service. Sophisticate Oh, sophisticated robotics. We are definitely doing the right thing here. Okay. Puppet against Nevada Free States. Development of Alt City. That's a huge buff. And the Jackals also gain another research slot if they're a puppet. So you need to do that first. Yakuza territories. Another research town if we have TV town. And one of those. Fall of Heaven's Gate. High Chapel took seven states. Claws declared one Olympus. White Legs declared one Timekeepers. The Holy Crusade against High Chapel proved to be too much for Heaven's Gate to handle. After a grisly campaign, the carcasses of both the faithful and their creations, born of steam, littered the promised land, creating a trail all the way to the broken gates of the cathedral and the ransacked city itself. Fighting in the city was intense, as every able-bodied man, woman and child was ordered by the clergy to give their lives for the Archangel's vision of a pure world. High Chapel forces were involved in bitter urban fighting as they fought to reach the Earth Cathedral at the top of the mountain the city rested upon, with each city block heavily contested by heavily entrenched infantry and civilian militia. For once in decades, the smoke coming from the city was not a call for mass. Looks like they ran out of steam. <laughs> 